Welcome to the Flow Paper Tutorial Beginner Basics. This tutorial will go through everything you need to know in order to get started with Flow Paper, including how to import a PDF, where to find a style template, and how to publish it all when you're done. Let's get started with importing a PDF. Make sure you have Flow Paper properly installed and open on your desktop, and that you are logged in. Once you have it open, you will see a clean and simple dashboard. There are two ways to import a PDF from here. First, you will see a button in the top right corner of your screen that says Import New PDF. Second, you will see that you can easily drag and drop your file into the program. For today, let's use the button provided. Remember to always select a PDF file. Other files will not give you the same interactive options and you will not be able to make changes to the content. Once you have selected your PDF, click Open. Flowpaper will automatically take you to the dashboard slash create publications page where you will see multiple style template options that will help you style your publication. We will go through all of these templates in another tutorial. For now, let's just select the first one. Now that you have selected a style template, Flowpaper will give you some import options. Let's leave them as they are for now and click on continue. Now Flowpaper will import and set up your PDF. Your publication is now set up and you're able to look through the pages by clicking on the arrows to the right and left of your document. Don't forget to check out the interactive thumbnail preview underneath. This is the area in Flowpaper where you can make changes to your publication. There are many options and features to go through, such as styling options for your background and UI components for your toolbar. Or you can head to the top right corner and click Edit. Here you can add links, images, and videos to your publication. But for today, we're going to stick to the basics and move right ahead to how to publish. Go ahead and click the Publish button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. You will be given the option of a cloud-hosted or a custom domain. I'm selecting cloud-hosted. It may take a moment to process. Once it's complete, you will be able to continue working or view in browser. I'm going to check mine out in the browser. Here's what my publication looks like. Not bad for the basics. Thanks for watching this Flow Paper Beginner Basics tutorial. You can find more tutorials to help you through this process online. 